I'm Sean Lawless and welcome back to Going In. The number one question I receive as a male performer is how did I get started in the industry? It honestly isn't as simple as oh I just tried out. It was a long process and I debated in my head back and forth for months and months at a time. I was just graduated college. I was still living at home working a nine to six job six days a week and it just wasn't cutting it. I mean I was pretty much unhappy and I had this idea in my head of what I wanted to do and I wanted to pursue that idea and it was essentially porn so I looked up how to get started. There was a late night one time where I was up you know didn't want to go to work the next day and I figured fuck it I'm gonna search out somebody who is looking for somebody like myself that wants to break into the industry. So I found somebody on the internet they would post it in the ad and I responded to the ad with just one photo, a nude photo in the mirror. And in the morning I had three emails and a phone call. So I responded and they said, hey, we'd love to shoot you. How can we get you to come to the shoot? So I was like, tell me more, please. I need more information. I needed to go get tested. I needed to perform in front of a bunch of different people and they would pay me at the end of the day. So I said, okay, that sounds cool. Like I'll, I'll go get tested. So I had to take off work, drive down about an hour away and it was $155 to get tested. I was shitting bricks the whole way. I'd never been tested for an SCD before in my life. I went down, got tested, came back, called the person who posted the ad, said, hey, I got tested, you know, I'm ready to go. Should I take like two or three hours off of work, off of my day job to, to go shoot this thing? Or should I take a half day? They literally laughed on the phone. A half day? Like, what are you, are you kidding? You need to take the entire day off. I'm like, the entire day? It's a porno. Come on, this is a 35 minute video. So I took the day off work. I drove down to Miami and I showed up for my first day as an adult porn performer. And it was quite funny because I showed up in my previous career outfit, which was a suit and tie, and uh, there was somebody out front in sweats and flip flops, and they're like, "What the fuck are you here for?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna shoot a scene, I guess." And they're like, "What are you wearing? Like, this isn't career day." And thankfully, I had the foresight to have um, a change of clothes in my, in my car, so I went and changed to essentially something like I'm wearing now, slightly more casual. I went back in and uh, paperwork actually for the first time took nearly an hour and a half. I mean, you got the rundown. You got interrogated to a T. I guess it's good because they protected themselves in that way and they made sure that you were who you say you were. After I got processed about an hour and a half, two hours later, I got put in a staging room with four other dudes. And I'm looking around, I'm like, you know, that's a lot of dudes. I didn't really sign up for this. And basically it was gonna be a five guy, five girl gangbang. And right, I had never done anything like that. I'm like, this is nuts. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to perform. I'm all up in my head, I'm nervous. After about three or four hours of just sitting there, I guess because they had to vet all the girls too, we took two different Suburbans to a location. That location was gonna be the set for the day. And upon arriving there was where we met the female talent for the day. It took us that long to meet the girls that we were going to be working with, which right, might come to a surprise to a lot of you guys, but that's sometimes how it is. You know, literally, hey, here's who you're working with. Action. We got there and uh, it was a college scene. Long story short, Four of the dudes failed out of the five. Basically, I was the only guy to like get through it. And the toughest part actually was when they were like, hey, we want you to come. And I was like, okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Here comes this big dude draped over my shoulder with a big camera pushing my head out of the way going, it's your time now, come on. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, how am I supposed to do this? And come on, man, come on. I had no idea to expect that, but that is quite literally 85% of the scenes that I shoot. There's some guy draped over my shoulder with a huge honking camera, 
trying to get the shot. That's that's the best shot to get. We went back to the office to do you know the they videotape you again at the end of at the end of the scene and you do more paperwork that you're sober, that you were there in a clear head, that you gave them permission, that everything went well. You get paid at the end of every scene. The owner of the company came up to me and was like, hey look, we'd like to shoot you more often. I said, no thanks. I, I think I'm actually making more at my career now. I'm, I'm okay. So I went back home, went back to my job, two weeks of working nine to six, six days a week, and I reconsidered everything and they called me back, perfect timing. Hey, we want to shoot you again. I said, please, oh my God, please shoot me again. So I went back, got tested, everything came back great. And um, they shot me with a, a girl who was up and coming and she's still up and coming. And th again, the scene went great, it was just her and I. And then at the end of it, they gave me an ultimatum. They said, hey, look, we're gonna pack up lights. Here's the camera. It's a $15,000 camera, by the way, if you drop it, you owe us that money. But um, here's the camera. What we want you guys to do is, we want you guys to go in the kitchen. She's gonna blow you. We're gonna pay you X amount, and we're gonna pay her X amount. But if you get it done, we wanna put you on a contract. So I went in the kitchen and was actually able to get that done even while they were cleaning up around. That that was probably the best thing I could have done getting into the industry was that secondary scene at the same time. So I got that done, went back to the office and they wrote up a contract and they handed me a contract. It was, it was kind of sobering to meet with the owner and he goes, he goes, you know, I know what you do for a living now and I know you're not too happy. And he goes, here's the contract, review it with your lawyer. And he stuck out his hand and he goes, if you want to make a lot of money, work a few days a week and bang some of the most beautiful women in the world, give me a call. And I'll never forget leaving there just like, did, did, that, just, did that just happen? So I went back, I reviewed the contract, I had the contract reviewed. Basically, I accepted a one-year contract with, uh, with Bang Bros. You know, things have only escalated from there, and I'm extremely appreciative and grateful for all of the opportunities that I've had in the industry. And I only want to, you know, continue to progress. And, you know, through my experiences, I want to bestow, if you will, you know, information and knowledge to everybody else who was looking for information like I was at the beginning, you know. Even before I got into the, to the industry, I wanted information that just wasn't there and I don't know why it's not there so this is episode two of going in and next week I'm gonna be flying to Vegas and I'll be shooting for a different company so why don't you come with me and uh, thanks again for watching